Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. You know when you hear that song, it's going to be a Kathleen Lights video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the debut collection for her new nail polish brand, KL Polish. I'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with Kathleen Lights, but if you are not, I will link her channel below so that you can check her out. She is an amazing, incredible, and talented YouTuber. I love Kathleen and I have been following her for years now. She is a fellow Latina and Miami girl like myself. Her nail polish line is vegan, cruelty free, five free, and retails for $8.50 US dollars each polish. So let's take a look at this beautiful collection. First up is Snickerdoodle and this is a beige nude cream. Kathleen has a video on her channel, you guys, where she explains the reasoning behind the names of each polish, which I love. So before we get into the swatches, I want to talk a little bit about the bottles. I love the rubber grip cap that she has on the bottles. It makes it so easy and convenient to open these up. Now, let's talk about the brush. The KL polishes have a wide, short, flat brush. The end has a curved edge to it, which makes it easier to apply. This is what they call a paddle brush. I am all for wide brushes. They're actually my favorite type of brush. However, I do feel like this specific paddle brush is a little bit too short. So we're going to take a look at two other brands in my collection that also have wide paddle brushes in order to do a comparison. So first let's look at the Wet n Wild brush. They have a very, very large wide paddle brush. As you can see, it is a little bit wider, actually a lot wider than the KL Polish brush. Now let's take a look at the Nails Ink brush. Their brush is also a wide flat brush, but it is much longer and much thinner than the other two. So I zoomed you guys in so we could see the difference. We have Wet n Wild on the left, the KL Polish brush in the middle, and the Nails Ink brush all the way to the right hand side. In my opinion, the Nails Ink brush is the best because it is wide, flat, and it is long which makes application easy whether you have wide nail beds or narrow nail beds. The Wet n Wild brush is a little bit too wide, so you can flood your cuticles and you can flood the sides of your nails. The problem that I see here with the KL Polish brush is that it is way too short. So I had the same issue. I would flood my um, the sides of my nails and my cuticles at times. And you guys, I paint my nails all the time. So that's just something to consider here. I love wide brushes, but I do feel like the KL Polish brush is a little bit too short. So Kathleen, if you're watching girl, take a look at that nail zinc brush. It is phenomenal. So here's two coats of Snickerdoodle. This has a really thick formula. It was almost opaque in one coat, which is phenomenal for this type of shade. It's super, super pigmented. I did two coats here to completely cover the nail. And this is just such a gorgeous, beautiful nude shade. Up next is Zoe, and this is a pinky mauve cream. Zoe was another phenomenal shade, very pigmented, almost opaque in one coat. I did two coats here just to even the color out. It is a thick formula, but it is manageable. Try to do thin coats in order to control the polish and not flood the sides of your nails. This is such a beautiful tone for spring. It's absolutely gorgeous. Coming up is Brick Sidewalk, and this is a stunning Rusty Terracotta Red Cream. This 
this color you guys wow it is so beautiful i think it's great for the fall for spring even for summer i just love it so so much another really really pigmented shade opaque in two coats easy to apply i love it coming up is caramelo and this is a dijon mustard pumpkin cream Oh my, this is so stunning, you guys. It is so unique to my collection. I don't have anything like this. It was opaque in one coat. I did two coats just to see if it would darken the color. But you guys, one coat and you're ready to go. Now let's take a look at broccoli and chocolate. Mmm, yum. This is a dark chocolate brown crelly. So rich and delicious, you guys. This one did have a very different formula than the others. This one was a bit more watery and thin. So that is why it is a crelly because it is a cross between a cream and a jelly polish. And last but not least, we have gumption and this is a royal blue crelly. Super stunning at two coats you guys this one did have a watery thin formula just like broccoli and chocolate but it looks absolutely lovely at two coats this also has that skunky strong smell that blue polishes tend to have but it doesn't bother me at all so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this review KL polish did launch a brand new shade today and I already picked it up and she will be restocking the other shades later this week so keep an eye out for that my favorites in this collection were brick sidewalk and caramelo don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know if you're a Kathleen lights fan and which one of these was your favorite <laughs>